like, okay, this is the end. I mean, it's burnt to the ground. It's over. I had made the uh, decision that I needed to be an entrepreneur because uh, I got turned on to it in another company and needed to buy something. But I wasn't sure at the time what to buy, but I knew I had to do something on my own. And so I looked around and checked out all these different companies, and I found this dinky little small house called Jugtown Mountain Smoke House in 1987, and ended up buying it. It was pretty run down. We started building it, and, 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 and really just, you know, tough stuff, counting every penny. We work and work and work, and we build it up, and one day uh, I was away on vacation, came back, and place it burnt to the ground. I was in complete shock. I mean, everything that I had been building, everything that, and there was only like four employees. I mean, we were, you know, maybe 300,000 in sales annually, um, was shattered. And there was a point when Doris, who was a 60-year-old bacon slicer who had been with us a couple of years, was standing next to me. And I was like, Doris, what are we going to do? And she just looked at me with, without saying anything. It's like, what do you mean, what are we going to do? And I knew in her eyes what she meant. Um, and we kept going. When the place burnt down, and from a monetary standpoint, everything spelled run. I didn't. And you don't know why at the time you don't. You kind of move, you just start moving to rebuild. Upon reflection of why did I stay in when everything was pointing me to get out, um, I realized at that point that we were about something more than just having a successful smoked meat company. In fact, we were trying to change, we wanted to change, and had the audacity to even think we could change, which is, was extraordinary, the way Americans think about eating meat. And we became, at that point, without even knowing it, I be, I be, we became mission-based and purpose-based. And that alters almost every decision you make. And we changed the name from Jugtown because it sounded like we were distilling booze in, in Appalachia or Western Jersey called it Applegate, which was a farm that was actually very close to where I was raising my family. We became virtual. We got rid of all our assets. We realized that we were really focused on a brand and having a relationship with the consumer. We started sending our products to other people to make it to our specs, and it started coming back, and I was like, oh my God, this stuff tastes better than the stuff we were making. And as a result, we have hundreds of thousands of animals and thousands of farms, and now thousands and thousands of customers who were all connecting to eating sustainable meat. So the greatest inflection of why we are what we are today is because of that fire.